let's create a clothing brand from scratch. I see a lot of you guys want to start a business online. You want to create a sustainable product, maybe save the earth, make money, live happy. I think that's like the Walmart slogan. No, I think it's live better, save money, Walmart, something like that. Anyways, the point is starting a business can be really intimidating. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a clothing brand from scratch in the comfort of your parents' garage. You literally can be living anywhere because the people we're going to be creating clothing store with are Jordan and Sage. Jordan and Sage live in a bus. Pretty fucking cool. They have over 1 million followers on TikTok and they recently started a YouTube channel documenting their bus renovation that has a few thousand subscribers as well. And they asked me to help them develop a clothing store that was ethically sourced, their own website, and just a brand that they were proud of. Honestly, I was a little bit intimidated with this project. If you guys don't know, I'm Jade. I have a media agency and I have a lot of background in e-commerce and launching stores in the past, but I've never created like a sustainable brand. I never really understood how to get sustainable fabrics and all that shit. I thought it was really complicated, but I wanted to share in this video how we were able to achieve that literally in a van in the comfort of your own home without having to fulfill orders. This is through a technique called print on demand, which I'll go into later. So if you guys want to know more about how to launch a store in the comfort of your own home or bus, make sure you keep on watching. My name is Jada Mwanza and I'm going to show you how to build a business. I'm going to walk you through everything from taking an idea to repairing problems and launching your business. This is going to take blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> but don't worry, you're watching Flipping with Jade. All right, so this video is gonna be pretty simple. There's three parts, creating the product, creating the website and brand, and marketing the product. We're all gonna do this together. Have you guys launched a product before? No. Nope. Okay, what's your guys' goal for this specific, your first product? What do you hope to achieve when you launch it? We hope that when people see it, they get a clear picture of our ideas and our mission here and they get inspired for the same project that we're inspired for at the moment. You guys have already values, which is great because a lot of brands, maybe most influencers that actually, the reason why they don't really care about the end result is because they don't know their values. Your values are ethically produced, sustainability. You guys obviously value people being happy, like achieving their personal goal, not caring about, you know, the traditional path. You guys already have a really unique value values, the product itself will be unique just because of the things you believe in. So my goal for this conversation is to take your values, put it into a product, and then Clara and I will execute it into real life. Yeah. So we're going to bring all your, all your thoughts into action and into a physical product. I'm really looking forward to see what that's going to look like. So we have the values, we have the idea about it. What do you want your first theme to be? So we just whipped up a quick design, like super okay. quick stick figure type thing. So we're thinking there's going to be a big bus in the background and there's going to be some monkeys or some sort of animal sticking out of some of the windows and one sitting on top, just holding a bunch of tools. And then Jordan and I will be in the front with some more power tools. And I could see it something like, like a picture of you on the bus, right? But printed kind of like this style, like kind of a Banty vibe. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. Jordan and Sage, this is Israel. He's been your art illustrator. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice Israel. It's nice to meet you. So we put the design on the t-shirt just to like see how it is. What do you think? I totally like the design. The only thing is maybe it might look better in a circle instead of a square. Like, oh! Just, just a little bit. Okay. Good idea. I like white shirts, but I don't think with this, it's going to work the best. Can we give people options, like different colors? Because everyone's got their own. Ah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Do you want a t-shirt or do you want to do a sweatshirt? Or what's your line of product do you want to do? Mm, are we sticking with one product or like, can we do two possibly? And I know it's getting colder, so people might wear sweatshirts more often. Maybe we can do a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. Yeah, these are all the products I found that were eco-friendly US made. This is one brand, it's Bella and Canvas. I actually used to print on them. It's really great. They're based in US. I think the green's kind of nice. Let's see that. That light blue was pretty cool too. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. Are we thinking like three colors? It overwhelms the consumer <laughs> a lot. What I what I find like a lot of people can't make a decision beyond two yeah. skews, and especially if you want to do a hoodie and a t-shirt. Like it's, it, I would say one or two. I actually think that looks really cute. Wait, that looks really cute. I think that looks really cute too. Wait, this is a nice looking collection. Look at that. All right, so now that we have the product in mind, it's time to move on to step number two. 
something that I've learned for the past like three years of running my own agency and working with big brands is people don't buy the product, they buy the benefits of the product, the way the product makes them feel. This is why, yes, we need to focus on building a great store and you know, a great product and sell something that's good, but we also need to focus on the brand identity, which is what we're gonna do right now. You might be like, Jade, what the fuck's a brand identity? What the fuck is actual, what's the definition? <laughs> By definition, a brand identity is the visual elements of a brand, the colors, the fonts, the wording, the way it sounds. It's basically what makes the brand distinguishable and different. There's also brand image, which is basically how the brand sounds, like the feelings, how it means to the customer, like there's that also. But in this video, we'll kind of combine them all in together so we can create something that makes Jordan and Sage's brands different than every other YouTuber merch. A brand identity is crucial. People will buy a product that makes them feel something and that it's unique unique to them because people want to feel happy about their purchases and people want to feel like their purchases are different than everything that they have already. To easily build a brand kit, we're gonna use my friend Canva. Holy fucking shit, guys. This is sponsored by Canva. If you guys don't know, Canva is a graphic design platform that allows you to make graphics, social media posts, brand identities, like literally everything. All right, so I pull up Canva here to build a brand kit. They have these templates that allows you to easily like build literally anything when it comes to graphic design. It's putting a lot of graphic design careers in shambles. It's actually it's crazy. Like I wanted to be a graphic designer, but then Canva came out and I'm just like, fuck. What the fuck am I gonna do? I'm this shit's great. I'll show you guys how easy it is to build a brand identity using this template. Okay, so we're here. You can scroll down. The first thing we have to do is pick a color palette. So what I did is because Jordan and Sage created the merchandise already, I popped into a software called Coolers. It allows you to basically pull the most popular colors from an image and then shows you that color palette. So we can see here that these are the four shades that Jordan and Sage's brand looks like. I, I literally just took it from the picture of their products because I felt like that picture really encapsulated their brand, what they like as a color scheme, and overall, obviously, their clothing aesthetic. Now, I hope you guys know, you don't have to use your products as inspiration for your brand identity. You can get inspiration from anywhere, whether it's a picture on your Pinterest board or just something that you like or other brands that you really get inspired from. Like, you can create your own color palette wherever. I'm just using their product because I thought it really encapsulated their aesthetic the most. Right here, what's gonna happen, Coolers is gonna give you something called a hex code. You go into Canva and type in the hex code color and basically, Basically, it will auto populate that color scheme to that circle. Do I make any sense right now? I'm gonna repeat this for all the little squares and we're gonna just see if it looks good all together because it better. All right, so we have this color palette. I actually really, really like it. Like, I feel like it really does look like Jordan and Sage. My only, like, Critique is I think this color is a bit too light and I'm gonna intensify it a little bit If you ever want to change and adjust the colors on Canva, it's super simple You just click on this palette It just highlights the color you already have and you can intensify it or make it more lighter depending on how you drag the cursor I'm gonna move this guy a little bit closer to the bluish colors because I feel like that's a bit more their brand and I'm gonna make it a bit lighter and I think we have it right here. I actually really like that too. All right So we have the color palette. Let's move on to fonts. Fonts are very important important obviously if Starbucks put on Instagram story that looks like this and then their product look like this I'd be really confused and consistency is the best way to make your brand more memorable and if your brand is more memorable then people think about you more and if people think about you more you get more sales the goal is just to be in someone's head longer just like how I want to be with all the men I'm dating you know I want to be in their mind a bit longer just kidding so when it comes to their font I have a little secret sauce I want to add that maybe I would change so this typeface that Jordan and Sage have on their channel banner is called a serif typeface, I'm pretty sure. Serifs kind of look more like typewriter-ish. It's very classic and old school. I kind of like this look still. I think it's very, you know, on brand for them. They live in a fucking school bus, so I think the serif is great. Because their entire brand is about renovating, I think it would be more on brand to mix a serif typeface with a little bit, with a little bit of spice. Canva makes it super easy to find fonts. You just go into the font category and it gives you font combinations already. So all I'm doing is just finding the right font combination with the serif and the sans serif, which is essentially the combo I wanna go for. If you guys can't tell, like I love fucking Canva. I remember I used this when I was 15. I didn't know how to fucking build a brand at all. Tools like Canva really helped me make my business possible. And obviously from the time I was 15, you know, I've grown to work with more bigger companies, but we still use Canva. I'm not even joking, we genuinely use Canva for even like large projects. So 
Love you, Canva. So I just found this font combo. It's basically the serif font, like I mentioned. It's very similar to this font. It's just a little thicker in combination with a bit of a more sans serif font, which is a like a rounder look. I really like this convo. It's the perfect combination of old school and modern. I kind of vibe, I kind of vibe. And we can see how this looks next to, you know, some of their work and images. This is a mock-up image of their clothing line. So we can kind of just see how it would look on an ad. We can take this font combination, overlay it on their, graphic and then change the color to the color that we you know initially created above and we can see it how it looks together let's see that looks really good i genuinely wait that looks really good i'm oh, kind of shocked Ooh. see this is why brand identity is so important it makes me excited maybe i'm the only person that would buy this but i i genuinely think that literally is so sleek so fun fucking love okay all right so we have the colors the fonts it's now time to develop the logo i told you guys canva has it all there's already built in logo templates on canva it's insane all you have to do is go into their templates type in logo and it will pop up literally a plethora of logo templates Ooh, wait this one's literally perfect wait hold up there's this logo template that literally looks <laughs> like their fonts already wait hold up that that literally looks good what the fuck or i could just do that that's cool too what the fuck okay that i mean let me move some stuff around but that's a concept wow i fuck with this all right so that's how you build a brand identity in 15 minutes what i'm gonna do is think about this some more i'll typically sip my coffee take a walk and make sure that when i come back i truly love it great brand identities take time but tools like canva allow you to easily prototype versions which i love hello who's this canva um did you guys not like the video we made i'm really sorry i could redo it we could just do it what you just want to extend the free trial to 45 days. You guys know that you're already offering 30 days for free for your pro account. You're offering now 45 days for free. Why? Oh it's because you love the Darwin Nation? What? Guys, I just got the word Canva's extending their free trial to 45 days to their pro account. So this gets you access to all their templates, fonts, all the good stuff so you can animate and create anything you'd like. Make sure you use the link in my description box to get the 45 days for free. Canva, I love you. All right, so now that we have the brand identity, it's time to set up the website. This is going to be where we take the product, take the brand, combine it all together into a place where customers can purchase merchandise. I'm super excited. To set up a website, you can use a lot of platforms. There's WooCommerce, Magento. I am using Shopify for today. It's the software I use all the fucking time. To start a website on Shopify, I believe there's like 14 day trials, so you guys can do it for free. I'm gonna go onto the website and right now pick a theme. A website theme is the perfect way to start a clothing store if you don't wanna code a fucking website. I really like the free theme called Express. I just think it looks really good with Jordan and Sage branding already. After you pick a theme for your website, it's time to connect your your print on demand service to the website. This is gonna allow you to import like product inventory into the website. So when people like purchase a product, they will get something in the mail. Like I mentioned from the beginning, we're using a technique called print on demand. Print on demand is great just because you don't have to have any inventory at home. When a customer orders a product, it contacts the manufacturer and the manufacturer actually fills the order without even touching your house, which is great for content creators or people that are a bit more busy. If you have school and stuff, I think print on demand is a great option instead of of making it at your home. If you guys want a whole video about how to manufacture actual clothing because you maybe want to customize things more or you just want to like have better profit margins, I can make a whole video on that. It's just a bit more complicated. The print on demand service I'm using is Printful. It's going to connect my store to Printful and all I have to do is just install the app. Once I connected Printful to my store, I'm able to add the products into Printful. So we're printing on this image. We decided on these four colored shirts. All I have to do is basically hit add to store and it will add this to my store. All right, now it's time to choose pricing for the store. I always recommend to choose anywhere from a 30 to 50% profit margin, just because typically if you are selling a product, you're also gonna spend money on ads and that will eat out out of your profit margin. So for Jordan Sage, we're gonna charge $30 just because I want them to have enough budget for their own videos and invest in them. So that's the pricing we're gonna take. But of course, depending on your store, you can mark up or mark down the prices as much as you're comfortable with. All right, so now that we see the products are updated on their homepage, we can kind of get a feel of their website. What I'm gonna do is finish up the site and add in the copywriting. Copywriting makes a website have a voice and gives the website context. So I'm gonna write a little bit about the Breaking Ground collection, a little bit about Jordan and Sage. Okay, looking good, looking good. I'm gonna select an image. I'm just gonna add in a demo photo because I don't have the photos yet 
yet from Jordan and Sage. They're doing their photo shoot today. So demo photos are great if you are waiting to take content, but you just don't have anything yet. So you can just put filler images. And Printful gives you amazing mock-ups that you can use to just demo the product. All right, so we just connected the whole store, added the sustainable products from our fulfillment, print on demand, Printful, and Jordan and Sage are ready to launch. Now, I know what you might be wondering. Hey Jade, I have a website, but like how the frick do I get customers on it? Now, Jordan and Sage are on another spectrum because they've been making YouTube videos for years and they're able to just promote their store in their YouTube video and that's gonna be their marketing. But if you're someone who doesn't have thousands of subscribers just chilling there, you know, you might need to push more marketing material on other social media platforms. I'm gonna insert a time lapse of me creating little Canva graphics to post on my Instagram story. So say you have a store and you wanna promote it, you can actually use Canva to create little Instagram templates and then post it on your profile so then people can see those images that are high quality and then click the link to go to your store. This video was mostly centered around the product and creating a sustainable brand because to be very honest, I didn't think it was even possible. I thought that creating like sustainable, ethically US made products costed a shit ton of money, but I learned that you're actually able to do amazing things using techniques like print on demand and using tools like Canva that really make your life easier when it comes to starting your first business. I will link below some free videos about marketing your store if you guys are ever curious on that, but I just did want to leave off with one last important note. You know, I know I'm going to get comments of people saying, Jade, like I'm going to launch a store and it's going to get zero sales. And I quickly just want to set those fears aside. You know, your first launch or first anything is going to suck. Even if you do everything right, a lot of marketing is repetition and learning from your mistakes. I have a quick little story. So you guys know I launched stores with influencers as a series. So last year I launched an e-commerce store with Natalie Lynn. Natalie has over 300,000 subscribers, but I remember she told me when she launched her first merch, it only got like one or two sales and she was really frustrated about that. And then her next launch, we were able to sell like a hundred. And then the next one after that, she was able to sell like 500. So I think it's really important to understand that when it comes to e-commerce, the best store is the one that can evolve over time. So for you guys watching this video, maybe you set up your own Printful Shopify store, create a beautiful Canva branding, and then you hear like crickets. That is completely normal. Typically with marketing, you know, each launch you'll get better at your products, you'll get better at making more content, and it's overall just a long-term process. I hope this video just shows you how easy it is to just start something, anything. It's so important to just get started first because over time you can evolve your product, get fancier on your merchandise or whatever you want to bring to the world. It's just important to start. I see a lot of comments of people saying, I want to start an online business, but I'm too scared. Take this as your sign and just start something, and it doesn't have to be extremely complicated. And yeah, you guys can check out Jordan and Sage's store if you want to see the final product in real life. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, all you got to do is just comment below anything. Comment below what you will be starting this year, okay? It's almost the end of 2020 and you still have a month left to create something. So let me know what brand you will create, whether it's a sustainable clothing line or mug line. Just let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.